the activity rings on your Apple Watch, a pointless feature or a motivational assistant on your wrist. I'm going to share with you why I think closing your rings every day can help you lead a more balanced, healthy and productive life. If you're someone looking for that motivational kick, you can do it. Yes, you heard me right. Every single day, no matter what. Sounds easy? Right. Well, not so much. And let me tell you why. If you don't know what activity rings are, they are basically three circles that track your movement, exercise and stand goals on your Apple Watch. The idea is to close all three rings every day by meeting your targets that you set for yourself, either by using the default amounts or a user-defined amount set to your needs and preferences. For example, my movement goal is to burn 700 calories, my exercise goal is to do at least 30 minutes of brisk activity, and my stand goal is to stand and move for at least one minute in 12 different hours. The activity rings are an important component of your Apple Watch experience and relate to your health and fitness. They help you track your progress and motivate you to be more active throughout the day. They also provide personalized suggestions and encouragement to close your rings. According to Apple, being active can lead to low blood pressure, increased energy, reduced risk of cardiovascular disease, and improved mood and happiness. Some studies have shown that the Apple Watch can help users lose weight, lower blood sugar levels, and manage chronic conditions. Some of you may have had your Apple Watch for a while, but never really paid much attention to the activity rings, or you chose a watch face that doesn't show them at all, or maybe you've even disabled them in the settings. I'm currently in the process of being a pretty active person. I'm running regularly, I take the dog out for a walk, I take the stairs instead of a lift at home and work, mainly because both of those places don't have a lift. But I never really thought about the challenge that it is to close those three rings every day. For some it's easy, for others it's too boring, but there are wearers that find it either challenging or motivating just to close those activity rings. Over the last seven weeks I've set myself a challenge to try and close those rings every day. But why did I decide to do this challenge? Well, for two reasons. One, I wanted to see if it would make any difference in my health and fitness. And two, I wanted to see if it would make any difference in my mood and motivation. There'll be times when you're feeling a bit low, especially with what's happened in the world over the last few years. It's almost become easy to slip into that negative state of mind. So by doing this will not only be very rewarding, but it'll also give a sense of accomplishment, while simultaneously helping me to stay motivated and hopefully healthier. And it's also a lot of fun to see how far you can push yourself. Back in April, towards the end of April, I think, I decided that on the first day of May, I was going to start this challenge, not with any end date in mind, just to keep going. But on that day, motivation hit me and suddenly I decided I was going to start on that day, the 28th of April. So I set up my Apple Watch and started the challenge. And let me tell you, it's not easy at all. If you've not done this before, then it can be tougher than you expect. Some days are easier than others, but here are some of the trials and tribulations that I've faced along the way so far. First of all, closing the standing ring is surprisingly difficult. You might think that standing and moving for one minute in 12 different hours is not a big deal, especially if you're not cheating the algorithm, but trust me, it is. Especially when you have a busy schedule or when you're at work all day at a desk job or when you're just feeling lazy. There's so many times when I've forgotten to stand up or when I've ignored the reminder from a watch at 10 minutes to the hour or when you just didn't feel like moving at all. And then I would realise that I would almost run out of hours left in a day to close the ring, but then I'd have to force myself to get up and do something around the house or dance like a maniac. Secondly, closing the exercise ring is also challenging. You might think that doing 30 minutes of brisk activity is not a big deal either, but trust me, it can be, especially when you have other things to do or when you're just not in the mood or even if you're sore from the previous day. There have been so many times when I've procrastinated or when I've just made an excuse or just wanted to quit, but then I would realise who I'm actually doing this for. And luckily for me, I've taken up running first thing in the morning, which means I've completed the exercise ring and allocated that 35 minutes hugely before 7am. But for those of you who are interested in doing something like this, sometimes it's just hard to find the motivation to work out, especially when you're tired or stressed. One of the biggest challenges of completing the activity ring is finding time to work out. You've probably got a full-time job, kids or other commitments, so it's understandable that it can be hard to fit in a workout. But I found out that even if I can do 30, just 30 minutes a day, it makes a big difference. I found that setting small goals can help. For example, I might go for a walk for 30 minutes a day, do 10 push-ups and 10 sit-ups a day. Anything active counts. Thirdly, closing that movement ring can also be stressful. You might think that burning 700 active calories a day might not be a big deal, but trust me it is, especially if you've got a slow metabolism or when you just eat too much or when you just don't move enough. 
There are so many times when I've underestimated or overestimated how many calories I burned or when I've indulged in some junk food or when I've skipped a workout. And then I would realize that it was almost midnight and I still had 100 or 200 calories left to close the ring. And then I'd have to force myself, just like the others, to do some high intensity interval training or some cardio or some cycling. It was sweaty and stressful, particularly at those moments where I'm doing it quite late into the night. So as you can see, this challenge is not a walk in the park. It was more like a marathon in a desert. Have I given up? No way. Did I cheat? No way. Did I succeed? So far, yes. As of right now and the day of the release of this video, I've closed my free rings every day for the last 52 days. And let me tell you how I felt. It's felt amazing. It's felt rewarding. It's felt empowering. Not only have I improved my physical health and fitness, but also my mental health and happiness. By taking part in this challenge, I've learned a lot about myself and what I'm capable of. I've learned that I can be more disciplined and consistent with my habits. I can be more flexible and creative in my workouts. I can be more mindful and grateful for my body and my abilities. And I can be more proud and confident of what I've achieved so far. And you know what? you can too. If you have an Apple Watch or any other fitness tracker, I challenge you to close your activity rings every day. Start off for a week, make it two weeks, make it a month, and then just keep going. Or if you don't have one, I challenge you to set your own goals and track them manually. Trust me, it'll be worth it. You will see a difference in yourself and your life. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and start that challenge today. And don't forget to share your progress and your results with me in the comments below and tag me in your social media posts. Let's inspire each other and motivate each other to be the best versions of ourselves. It's not always easy, but it's definitely worth it. If you're looking to stay motivated and healthy, I highly recommend giving this challenge a try. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content just like this. And let me know in the comments if you want me to do a follow up on this at some point in the future or if you have any questions or suggestions. So stay healthy, stay happy, stay awesome and look after you. And I'll see you in the next one.